Hey all, so I've made some updates to my auto fish feeder. I wanted to show it disassembled. <clears throat> I made a um, food hopper. I figured if I'm going through all this work, why limit it to five days? And then I do have 10 compartments, but I couldn't figure out the best way to alternate between the two. It's some kind of sliding trap door to just do one compartment at a time. So instead I came up with the idea of a hopper. <clears throat> so if you saw my previous video, <clears throat> this tray goes in here and it'll be hooked up to this stepper motor and pulley on the other end with this belt here, <clears throat> which draws it across. And I'll show this assembled after this. I just wanted to show this disassembled so you could see the actual parts. So this was the hopper that I came up with. <clears throat> um, I did need some kind of chute to direct the food so it didn't doesn't make too much of a mess because my original design I wasn't planning on doing a hopper and the belt goes over above the tray <clears throat> which means it was obstructing this was obstructing it with the belt so I did have to cut that big hole in inside of my little feed guide there the chute but that's okay I doubt much food if it, if any will fall through that hole because the belt will be through here as well it's always fun shooting these videos one-handed, but the belt will go through like that. Okay, and then this, I just did two pieces of um, plexi sandwiched together with a space between them on each end so that it just fits right on here. Again, so fun to do one-handed. So that'll go there. It'll line up right there. And then... This will cycle forward through its five days. When it gets to the end of the five days, it'll reset. And as it moves back, it'll stop here. And this flips each way, letting food in there. And I haven't tested it yet to set the timing right and the speed of that door. And then this will advance another slot. And then that'll go again five times till it's back in its home position, hopefully refilled and hopefully not too much extra food scattered about. I'm sure the fish will get a couple of pieces as a treat, <clears throat> but we'll see. And then this is the brains behind it. Again, built on an Arduino, Arduino Nano right here. And this is the uh, motor driver for the stepper motor. And then a little start stop button, LED just to show the status. This connection here is for uh, the servo motor, which controls that trap door there. And then power hookup for the motor and USB for the power to the Arduino. I think I'm all, I added this terminal here because I'm also going to add a, a sensor here, an infrared sensor, so that it'll, it will be able to detect the position of this at all times. Because right now, if the power goes out and the system resets for some reason, it's going to just start off wherever it is and that will cause a problem. <clears throat> so yeah, I just have to add another one more sensor to this and then I'm going to add another LED and this will be good to go. So yeah, this fits right in here. That'll get attached there, all wired up. And I'll do that now and show it running. Okay, so here we are all, all assembled. <clears throat> Again, the brains of the system. The new addition is the hopper. <clears throat> And like I explained, uh, the belt <laughs> has to go through the whole thing. So, bad design choice on my part, but I wasn't planning on doing a hopper. <clears throat> and I've got one little glitch that I have to fix here. Is this end piece on my tray bumps this feeder chute piece when it gets to the last slot. So for this demo, I'm just going to have to s slide this over a tiny bit when it gets there. So, all right, we'll power it up. And it just straightened out its servo here to make sure the door is straight and it knows it's in its home position. So we'll click go. And this will do its five day feed. I have it set for three seconds. Does a little shake to get any excess food out or anything that may get stuck. Because <clears throat> I feed um, several different foods mixed together so the irregular shapes can jam together and clog it up but I think that shake will take care of that problem um, and the one thing I failed on this you'll see when this door goes I should have made this hopper wide 
a square just as wide because I cannot turn that door 180 degrees or 90 degrees I should say which would allow me to open it up a lot more but I think it'll still work okay this is where I gotta scoot this over see it just bumped that piece of plastic there so I'll just shave the hopper down a bit okay so now it's done with its cycle now it's going home and there you go fill it up and then it goes to the next slot <clears throat> I think that chute's gonna work out. It shouldn't lose much food at all. Anything that does fall out will fall in the other compartments with the exception of the two end ones. But I think it'll work out good. And again, I can control the speed and the time that this stays open. So even though I can't open it at full 90 degrees, I think it'll still work. And even that, I could shake it a little bit if I need to. So that's it. And then it'll restart the cycle again with a full tray of food. Pretty cool. A lot of fun to build. Yeah, it's just going to run through the demo again. So you can see too, because I have that spring on the belt as a tensioner, I had to make the hole even bigger so that it'll pass through. But I don't think I'll lose much food through there. Live and learn. That's what I get for designing on the fly. <laughs> So now it's not a five day feeder, but I would guess, hell, 25 day feeder at least. So yeah, last step as I mentioned is I'm gonna put a little sensor here or somewhere. I may even go a uh, hall switch with mag magnets on each one of these so I'll know exactly what position it's in all the time. But I'll figure that out and that'll be the last step. And then I may even tie this into my sump pump so I can turn off the pump during feed time for an hour and then the pump will come back on. So pretty cool. Stay tuned. Alright, so I ran it with some food in it and it worked pretty damn good for a first try with no tweaks. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to have to tweak the door in here. It got jammed on some of the food. Um, I think these abnormal size pellets maybe I will stop putting in here because some of them are pretty long and can be even curved and that jammed up my door. But other than that, let's watch her run because it works pretty damn cool. So let's start it. <clears throat> okay, so I still have the problem of the chute rubbing onto the tray. So for now, I have this lifted up a half an inch. <clears throat> when it gets to the end, I'll put it back down. Uh oh, my belt just got stuck. <laughs> Okay, maybe I can't keep it up. But anyway, this is the simple part. I showed this in a previous video, so this works fine. The shake works great too. There is going to be a few remnants, <clears throat> but that just means the fish will get an extra treat at reset time. And a little bit fell out during my fill, but that's because I had to mess with this, getting stuck, as you saw it just did. Okay, but now it's going to move back to refill cycle time. Hopefully I can catch this one-handed and not make a mess. Yeah, I made a mess. <laughs> Alright, now that it's through its broken cycle, here we go. Yep, door's stuck. It only opened once of the twice. Yeah, so I need a little, to do a little work on the door, and I think if the hopper had more food in it, it would work better. But otherwise, it's working. The concept is hardly losing any food. It's going right into another compartment if it misses. Yeah, my door is stuck on one side. Let's dig in here and see why. Yeah, you can see the door is stuck open because that food's jammed underneath it. So yeah, selective food size, and I'll probably rework this a little. I may just make this like a true hopper and put two angled size here to keep food from collecting in the side. So that's what's happening, and then it's in the way and the door can't open. Again, impossible to do one-handed. So anyway, 
Concept works. Needs some tweaking. Pretty cool.